making the perfect meatball takes a lot of work. Next! Okay, first time you ever made a meatball was when? I don't know when I actually made it myself, but grandma would always make me roll them. Yeah. So, since about eight years old, I stick to uh, a very traditional recipe, my grandma Catherine's recipe, actually. Whole milk, I'm gonna go in first whole with milk, the milk. Whole milk, not cream, not no. skim milk, just no. good old whole milk. So you want these breadcrumbs to get a nice soak in them, so that's why we first go in with the milk. Okay. So now these are gonna soak a little. Because I've had those meatballs where they up that bread level pretty high. Oh, <laughs> here's the thing. We're making meatballs on a Sunday. Yeah. Uncle Carly calls. He's coming over with oh, Aunt Nelly so the kids. Some more bread. What do we do? <laughs> oh, more bread. Now we got 10 more meatballs. Bring the family. Everybody's Every eating. Every day I smell that smell, and it just brings me back to being a kid. Mozzarella. No rules, right? Yeah. In with the mutz. About a tablespoon of nice, finely chopped garlic for, uh, for each pound of meat. About half a tablespoon of salt for each pound of meat. You know, again, it's personal taste. About a teaspoon of black pepper. So it really is your grandma's yeah, recipe. Yeah, really, no, it this really is. is. No. <laughs> the only, the only <laughs> difference. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take two. Go. Just Brooklyn guy. Man. So it really is your Size grandmother's the, recipe. It really is, except the only modification I make is I chop the parsley a little finer. As far as I'm concerned, you can never use too many fresh herbs. She used to put the, you'd be pulling a, a whole stalk of parsley out of your grandma. Chop the parsley. One egg. One egg. Mix that and you, you scared? Oh, well, look at her. You go, I'm going man. right in you there. Go right in there. Yolk broken up. So is Houston accepting of New York food? I don't think it's New York food. I think it's good food. This is USDA Choice Certified Angus Ground Chuck. Don't be scared. Just, just, just get in wanna, there. Just get in there. I don't want to overwork the meat. I think people are very a lot more discerning these days than they have been in the past. And when you do put your best effort in, in your cooking and your product, they see it. If this whole uh, TV thing doesn't work out, can I get a job here? I, I'll see what I could do, Arnie. <laughs> he doesn't want to agree to it on camera. <laughs> Look at those hands. These are hands that have worked. Just scoop it till you get a nice, nice level scoop. That's a nice two ounce ball. Give it a little squeeze, so that'll tighten it. This way they won't fall apart when they're cooking. And then give it a nice roll, and ba-boom. Is that beautiful or what? It's physically and biologically impossible to not be happy in the presence of a meatball, making a meatball, <laughs> eating a meatball. It's a happy business. I That's, am happy in the presence you, of this meatball. Hey, let's cook these bad boys. Internal temperature should be 165. On Sundays, all the kids would be playing in front of my house. Yeah. You know, because my grandmother, <laughs> Just she, waiting. Yeah, there was only six of us, but she cooked for 30. Your friend's hungry. Tell him, tell him to come and eat. <laughs> you know, so, all right, we're going in. Ah, yeah, look at that. You hear that sizzle? You smell that? Two meatballs, nice dip in the sauce, go for a nice swim. Oh. Spaghetti and meat the balls. Get in there, baby. Oh my god. You're, I'm as good as my last meatball, so. <laughs> as good as my last meatball. That's what say under your name on our piece. <laughs> Joey, good as his last meatball. Good as his last meatball. Oh, oh Shannon's stealing my meatball. And you got the crew fighting over your, your meatballs, man. Then you know you're doing well. Well, no, not really. You know television crews, they'll eat anything. Oh. <laughs> but good food, it's the one common denominator that makes humans human. When people eat, they want to feel something. Yeah. And what they want to feel is what I hope you just experienced. Our Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner. Made with love. Made with love. All right, we're, we're out of time. Bye. <laughs>